request the gentleman to please play our partner AVs. कुछ ज़्यादा नहीं, थोड़ी सी अच्छाई मांगे मेरी दुनिया। कुछ ज़्यादा नहीं, थोड़ी सी अच्छाई मांगे मेरी दुनिया। अच्छाई मांगे मेरी दुनिया। दैनिक जागरण में पढ़िए संस्कार शाला, 5 सितंबर से 10 नवंबर तक। मम्मी जी आपकी दवाई नहीं मिल रही, आपने देखी क्या? जागरण संस्कार शाला अच्छाई की समझ लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द टॉपिक ऑफ अ नेक्स्ट सेशन इज बिल्डिंग ब्रांड लॉयल्टी थ्रू सोशल मीडिया एंड डी ओ ओ एच इंटीग्रेशन एंड द स्पीकर इज मिस्टर श्रीरंग के सुधाकर ही इज द एम डी एंड फाउंडर of Vyoma Technologies Private Limited. With the intent of integrating and unlocking the potential of creative and digital technology for out-of-home audiences, Sri Ranga K. Sudhakara started Vyoma Media in 2007. Under his stewardship, the company has organically grown to become one of India's most formidable players in the ad tech industry. With innovation and disruption at the core of the company, his long-term vision is to bolster Vyoma Media's reputation of delivering scalable and milestone-setting digital out-of-home work, which is responsive, experiential, interactive, and digitally connected. Recently, Mr. Sriranga was also invited to be a part of Niti Aayog's Champions of Change initiative by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. Please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Sudhakar on stage, please. So thank you all for having me here and uh, for Exchange for Media for having us here. This is a fantastic platform to showcase what we're doing. I know we're running short of time, so I'm going to try and limit this just to about eight, nine minutes. For those of you who do not know what Vyoma Media does, we are India's largest digital OH platform. We are present in 380 railway stations in India and with a geographical reach of 16 states and we own the mind space of 120 million people every month. Just a quick 60 second video to show what we do. Coming specifically to today's topic, right? You guys must be wondering, digital OH, social media, what's the connection here, you know? In fact, we actually think there's a natural connection and all the chat that we had today of panel discussions of digital media growing, being 46% of global ad spends, I think this is music to our ears. Um, you know, so specifically, I don't know if you guys noticed the digital displays that we placed outside. So while you were actually looking at those displays, those displays were actually looking back at you. And they were collecting data in terms of information of how many of you actually looked at those screens, how many of you looked at it for how long, for how many seconds, and so on and so forth, right? 
Um, so just some very interesting stat. Today, there were 317 people that attended this event, and 225 of you actually looked at those screens. So this is the measurability that we're actually bringing into digital, and that's the fun and exciting part of how we're gonna take this forward. There's also a global organization called as uh, International Advertising Bureau that's trying to create benchmark in terms of now how do I equate those eyeballs into impressions as we talk you know, in the digital world. And with more of these measurability that are coming in, exciting things like programmatic buying that we spoke about, contextually delivering ads that we spoke about are gonna kind of start coming in. Um, this is, and this is happening globally, right? So this is one of our partner companies. I'm very excited to follow the sports panel that actually uh, kind of came here. So this is how social media was integrated by the NBA in the US, where they had these digital displays that were all connected on a real-time basis. And on a real-time basis, it would actually give you what are all the tweets that are going on on a real-time basis. And the best part, guys, zero production cost, right? This just picks up content from all social media activity, social media chats, and it creates content on the fly. So you do not know nothing production cost, just on the fly content like this is coming up. Um, so close at home, right? We know we spoke about the pro Kabaddi league, and in fact, this is live content. I mean, not live in today's context because it's not connected, but this was a game that was going on and we actually played this live on our screens by taking content on what was happening on the Pro Kabaddi League, just throwing out some stats and this actually created massive engagement with our large network of displays, right? So there's a massive opportunity there to integrate it. Um, as you can see and then maybe just quickly moving on to the next, so it'll actually pick up all the chats that are happening on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and make it into a consumable uh, capsule of uh, content. Moving, we also did a fun campaign with Maruti Suzuki. In fact, Maruti has been a big advertiser with us. Uh, their Colors of Youth campaign and Breaking Point campaign, we actually saw 120% increase in engagements on Facebook and about 300% plus increase on their Twitter campaigns that they ran. So we basically just amplified a lot of the campaigns that they were doing online in, an, in a non-online format, you know, in the digital uh, format. Future ready, is this industry, I just wanted to give you a quick insight, I just have two more slides, into what the opportunity in India is, right? Um, a country like Australia is 18 million people. Indian Railways transports 23 million people a day. Right, so literally a whole country we transport, and then if you look at the other modes of transportation, bus transportation, urban bus transportation in India, just top seven cities is 30 million people. So there's really a potential to engage with almost about 75 to 100 million people on a daily basis in this country of ours. Um, and I think digital OH, in my mind, what happened in digital five years, seven years ago, you're seeing absolutely the same trends happening in the digital OH. In fact, if you ask me, we are closer to digital than to OH, right? If you look at all the attributes that we have, our screens are connected on a real-time basis, dynamic content. I can contextually deliver ads. My screens in Bandra Station, somebody gets out there, I can actually tell them within a 500 meter radius, I can link in with OYO Room APIs and tell them what are the rooms that are available there. Right, so it's very hyper-local content integrating with e-commerce also, right? If people are searching for smartphones, you can actually display that category of uh, content on that particular display that's closest to a person. So, so it's very exciting times, and I think three things are gonna be massive growth drivers in our industry. Uh, one is the cost of capital. When we started this business 10 years ago, it's come down by one-tenth, so what it takes to roll out a network of displays. Number two, as I've been talking a lot about the connected nature of displays. When we started this 10 years ago, you might have seen tons of screen outside, but only our screens had, it was almost an engagement bot, which would collect data as you're walking past it and, and going past, right? So this whole connected nature of it, contextual ad, programmatic buying, it's gonna open up a world that 
we cannot even imagine. And I think I see this almost to be complementary to what we're talking in mobile. So recently I saw this ad campaign in New York, uh, in JFK, when people would land in the night and they would actually search for last minute hotel deals. A screen that was close to them would also actually play that particular ad. So, and people tend to see only the top two searches when they're looking in the mobile. So this becomes your amplification or your other screen that is there to engage, right? So that's the kind of opportunities that we have. And I think the, the third very important part is just government policies towards digitization. I think it's taken a massive leap. And today in India, there are probably about eight to 10,000 screens that are there that are doing advertising, uh, you know, showing on the screens. In the next three years, this is gonna jump up to three to five lakh displays, right? Indian Railways alone is talking about installing one lakh displays across 2,000 stations, all connected on unlimited bandwidth, playing real-time content and contextual ad delivery, right? So that's what's happening. And I think, uh, you know, the marketing ecosystem, the media ecosystem, the content planners, media planners, buyers, I think all have to kind of, you know, look at this from a massive opportunity. Exactly what digital happened in the last three, four years is gonna happen in this space. And we would love to talk to you guys and engage and partner with you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. We may oh. have you on stage for okay. a little while longer. Sure. I would like to invite Mr. Pradeep Duvevedi, CEO Sakal Media, to please come up and felicitate Mr. Sri Rangas. Thank you so much, Mr. Duvevedi, and thank you so much, Mr. Sudhakara. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our chief guest, Dr. Subhash Chandra. So please, let's hear a round of applause. Uh, thank you for being here so much, sir. Yes, there he is. Yes, let's hear it for him. Thank you. Thank you so much.